Hi, um, can everyone hear me? Yeah. My name is Zoe and tonight I'm going to be talking to you about the, my experience um, as a Google News Lab Fellow with ABC News. Um, so Google has an interest in data journalism and using technology to uh, using technology in a variety of ways throughout various media spaces. Um, and that has been pretty consistent throughout their history, but in recent months it's really become very important for Google to work with journalists um, and to strengthen their ties within media. So in 2012, Google created the Google News Lab, which is a team of a team of former journalists and some front-end web developers at Google that works together with journalists to make their lives easier using technology. They work with journalists to provide support, information, data, and you know, they also uh, make journalists aware of the products that they offer within Google. So the Google, the Google News Lab offers the Google News Lab Fellowship, uh, which is to support our up and coming data driven journalists and people that you know, know their way around data and want to work in media. In 2012, they created a fellowship for uni students in the US to work uh, in data journalism teams in newsrooms around the United States. And in 2017, this effort was expanded to a few other countries, including Australia. Mm -hmm. awesome. It's a 10-week fellowship. Uh, you know, it's done over the summer holidays, and you're put within a newsroom, to work with interactive digital content, um, to work with data journalism, to work with data journalists uh, in the newsroom. In Australia, the fellowship is based with ABC, and I have spent the past 10 weeks working with the interactive digital storytelling team. Um, <laughs> yeah. Down at Shelf, I've been working with Ash and Penny and Josh and I can't tell if there's other people here tonight, but... Um, so I've been based with uh, the Interactive Digital Storytelling team at ABC, primarily working on my own individual projects, um, but also seeing what it looks like to be a front-end web developer within a major newsroom in Australia, working on stories that are really innovative, um, telling data-driven, article telling data driven stories that are exciting and they're not prose based and kind of doing something new and not many people really have heard about data journalism it kind of exploded in popularity in recent years um, and I think the work that the ABC team is doing is very exciting and I'm really happy to be a part of it. So last year the fellowship was with Fairfax and this year it's with ABC. The interactive digital team has created numerous uh, award-winning pieces within data journalism. Um, and within that team I've, I've been given a lot of freedom to work on my own projects. Um, as I said before, it's a really cool opportunity to get some insight into the process, um, to see what award-winning journalism looks like and to apply my skills to the team. As part of the fellowship, you get to visit the Google headquarters in Mountain View, California. Um, this is a week-long trip and it's really an exciting uh, part of the fellowship. I got to speak with people like Google Earth, um, people within Google Trends, uh, a journalist at the news lab and I really got some insight into what they're doing at Google to help improve journalist uh, workflow. Um, 
So those are really an incredible part of the trip to see what they're doing within the Google uh, uh, system, within Google, and within the Google News Lab. Um, I'm just going to note that the fellowship is 10 weeks long, so it's pretty ideal for university students. Um, however, I'll also note that they do accept professionals. My colleague, there are two of us doing the fellowship at the moment, and my colleague down in Sydney has quite a long history doing data visualisation work. He's been doing freelance data visualisation work for the past decade. Um, so they certainly do accept professionals. Um, so that should be something to keep in mind if you have some spare time next summer and you want to do some data journalism work. Uh, I'll just give a brief spiel about my background. Um, I studied politics and statistics at university. I would not say I'm a front-end web developer at all. Um, I work primarily in R, and I moved a little bit into D3, so I do know some JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Um, and I graduated from university relatively recently, less than a year ago. And since then, I had the time to develop a small data visualization portfolio. Um, however, I'm still very much learning, and um, that's been a fantastic part of this fellowship. I've really been able to see what the team at ABC does, and to learn from them in particular. Um, if you're interested in working with you know, the folks at ABC or um, working with people at Google. Application during November. Um, I would say it would probably help to have a data visualization specific portfolio instead of just a front end web development portfolio. Um, some statistic skills might be useful, and I would certainly be comfortable with the, uh, you know, knowing how to communicate with data and being comfortable with explaining data structures, uh, public opinion polling, things like that. Uh, yeah, that was, that was it. Um, <laughs> awesome. If anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, yeah? What was the uh, most surprising thing that you saw when you went to Mountain View? I was actually really surprised, um, but not everyone there was a software developer, right? And not everyone does software development, and there are a lot of people doing really cool, exciting projects that I had no idea existed. Um, Google obviously is so much more than just the search engine, but it's kind of hard to find out about these products if you're not actually working on them yourselves. Um, and they're very excited about working with journalists and working with newsrooms. Um, you know, they're really excited to continue that work. Um, they know their role in, you know, trust and verification of facts and news. Um, they're very excited about continuing that work. Um, another thing I was surprised about was how willing they are to work with journalists. Um, one thing that was consistently stressed to me was that the News Lab team in particular will take any request to get data, to get information. If a journalist asks for it, they will try their hardest to provide it. Um, what was your favourite project while working with the ABC? So, um, I published an article early in January on President Trump's approval ratings. Um, I've been working on a few projects since then. Uh, I haven't really materialised at this point <laughs> just yet. Um, that has been a really kind of cool process to explore something. I don't know if it will pan out in time. Um, my fellowship ends this week, so 
have a limited amount of time to get it done. Um, we'll see. Oh, I'll let you know. I'll send you the <laughs> I'm not sure, but it seems like data, data journalism is quite niche. Like I mix with statistics people and other people, but certainly communicating data is really important. Um, so my question is, do you know or would you recommend any websites or Australian-based organisations that are can help people get more into? Yeah, so I studied statistics at university, which is where I got a lot of my background from. But I've done a fair bit of um, online courses using DataCamp. Um, they do, they provide short courses to learn R. I would recommend learning R because it's the statistical language behind a lot of you know, data visualization work. Um, and certainly if you want to go into machine learning and more complicated statistics, you should probably learn R and Python as well. Um, the R stats community on Twitter is very, very useful. Um, and there are some communities on Stack Overflow, so I find that to be very useful as well if you ever need help with statistics or data wrangling. Yeah. How much does the uh, data camp cost? Uh, what, what kind of costs are involved on that? Are they free or are they paid sort of things? I believe they're free. Yeah. Or um, I actually think they might be free if you have a like a .edu email. Uh -huh. um, Tricky. So you can check it out. When I used it, it was free, but I was a student back then, <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. Um, I guess I want to talk. Um, people may not be aware that there is a um, Australian Statistical Society meetup in Brisbane on a monthly basis. There's also a Brisbane Data Science meetup that people may be interested in. Um, if anybody wants to know anything about them, please. Cool. Is that something you're involved in? Yeah. Awesome. Any last questions? All right, I'm going to take that as a no. Thanks very much, everyone. <laughs>